Hello and welcome to another Raggis uh, beer review. So, yeah, we're at the weekend. No reviews yesterday. I was out boozing uh, from, what time would it be? About one o'clock. Got in about half nine, ten. Good day. No messing about. Drank a lot of beer. Uh, and didn't get, wasn't sloshed. And then I came home and drank some Imperial Stout as well. And then the wife seen the bottle in the morning. Don't you be having that bloody beer in the ass. Hello, you know, is what happens. So anyway, from Pentridge, it's their sweater weather. And, you know, <laughs> into I, oh, it's certainly getting that way. It's getting a bit uh, peaked on. Um, it's that time of the year when, you know, you've just got to braise it. So 8.5% from... Um, the good people at Pentridge Brewing Company. Um, I've got to say that... I uh, don't know what that was. Yeah, I've got to say that um, Low Cost, a, a.k.a. Smiling Great, do seem to have um, a lot of beers from these guys. So it's sweater weather, the blood gay. So I'll just find the... Um, Oh, God saves. Sweater, weather. And I wasn't going to do any beer reviews yesterday out in the open. I thought, no, I'm not going to do it. And I actually did. So, here we go. There's the, there's the artwork. And what it says is, uh, Sweater weather, a bold and hoppy dipper brewed with citrus and cashmere hops. These lend punchy citrus flavours alongside notes of white peach and dank resinous pine with a light bitterness on the finish. And it's available in bot in can from Brew Cavern and certainly on, on tap from um, Low Cost Beer. And also some place called Premier Hop, whoever they are. Never heard of them. So Big orange, poor, white head. It looks good, doesn't it? And it's got a dank aroma to it, definitely. Oh. Do you see a lot of um, Pentridge recently? I mean, I've even got two Pentridge on the beer wall. I've got an India Pale Ale brewed with Neon Raptor. And I've got another one somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. I know I've seen it somewhere. I know, because I put the bugger on. Oh, it's down here. Milk stout. So, yeah, two beers. Certainly getting that pine. Certainly getting dankness. It's not far off what that bloody... Um, a lovely creaminess on the back end. <laughs> We're not going down that road. Um, no. <laughs> I don't, get, I don't get creaminess on the back end. Mm. Certainly not in the mornings when I first wake up. And that's as far as I'm going on that one, I know. Yeah, people will be eating their dinner. The last thing they want to hear of me is going down some avenue, some toilet-related avenue, if you can get around. You smell what the rag's cooking. But, uh, yeah, it's tasting nice. It's um, I can't say the peach is slinging itself towards me. Um, it tastes citrusy, that's for certain. But um, yeah, so there's a nice thickness to it. Got to be fair, Pentridge do do good uh, double IPAs. They do enough of them. So, you know, they know what they're doing. Doubles, triples, that sort of thing. Yeah, they absolutely smash it out of the park on that side of things. Um, And there came the peach. I got a bit, I got the pine before. And then I was just tasting citrus. You know, nothing came out and says, oh, I'm there. But then I got a bit of peach. Sometimes, you know, you'll drink a beer and you just don't get anything. 
And then sometimes you, when you when you took your eye off the ball for a second and and it comes. And it might be the fact that the mouth needed a bit of you know, a bit of beer. And it is six o'clock on a Sunday evening and uh, yeah, first beer of the day. Yeah. I'm I'm a lot better than I used to be. Uh, yeah, a lot better. Um I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> I did have a big day yesterday to be fair. Drank some amazing beers, you know, gotta be honest. Did drink some absolute stormers. Um and probably enjoyed it too. And then different fruity flavours are coming through, so it just needed a bit of time to warm up. Now, uh, for those watching this review, uh, do you feel that when you drink double IPAs and stuff on keg, that it needs five minutes or so, ten minutes just to warm up? Um, I had keg beer last night over at uh, the Abdication, uh, which is a micro pub near me in, in Daybrook in Nottingham. Um, Anybody who comes to Nottingham Craft Beer Festival who's stopping for a couple of days, although it's expensive in hotels these days, Jesus. But it is, it is it's one of those essential places to visit. Um, I mean, my own beer adventure, uh, I want to go to Derby. Of all places, Derby. Uh, there's, there's some good pubs there that I need to go to. And get home safe. So I'm not going on my own. No. <laughs> um, but then there's Derby Brewing Co. Tap. You know. Um, tap rooms. Massive these days. But you've got to have the brewery in the right place. To do it. And you've got to have a sort of, the sort of brewery that you can do it. Um, a brewery near me. Uh, Alter Ego. Which is again. Derbyshire based uh, they also have a, a, a tap room micro pub site in Losco so it's in Derbyshire as well and they run a free bus so you can get on bus up bus back so you know it's great business wise it's fantastic um, we are going to be visiting the, the tap room because um and the good thing about Alter Ego is they do support other local brewers, which is a great thing, you know. Um, supporting supporting the locals means so much. Ooh. So, dank, little bit of pine, citrusy, little bit of peach, but a flavourful, even vanilla. Why do I keep getting vanilla in these sorts of beers? I mean, it's pleasant, don't get me wrong, but I do keep getting it. And I know it's vanilla, but it's a, you know, it's a lovely, nice, thick, double IPA. Like I say, I got it in Panda Pot bottle form from um, a local spear, Smiling Great, aka Smiling Great. A massive thank you to the mystery contributor who, you know, has provided me with a lot of beer reviews and it just means that the beer wall won't get i won't be running short for a while because i don't do four reviews a day anymore um the weekends actually sort that out you know the the mini reviews sort that out and i know some people don't like the mini reviews i get that but there are a lot of people who do like the mini reviews so it's a balance really it's a balance between the main, if you don't like the mini reviews, don't watch them, you know. But it's a balance between the mini reviews in the daytime and the proper reviews uh, that start usually about three o'clock, three, five, seven, maybe. I mean, that's if I can do three reviews. It all depends. Depends how much I drink and can drink and, and, and time. Time's the killer. It is going to get better. And obviously, we're not far away now till December's coming at a pace. And uh, bloody hell, Christmas is coming. Car MOTs are coming. And just touch wood. Um, somebody up there is kind with us. 
We've had enough pain with cars. Please don't hurt us too much. You know, we don't mind paying out for stuff that needs doing, but please don't make it too much. You know, uh, it is what it is, I suppose. You know, yeah. There's not much I can do about it anyway, you know. Hopefully the wife's cough sails through and it's just my car and a bit of welding. Suck my bloody exhaust out that's uh, blowing. And it fucking, it blowed from the minute the idiots uh, gave it me last year and took it back. Didn't put, they had an engine management light on. I'd never seen in my life on that car. And oh, we haven't put the cable in. Oh, great. Yeah, I suffer with anxiety, you dickheads. Put the bloody cable in. Check the car before you even take it off the ramp. Put the cable in. and Oh, it's blowing. I'll put a bit of paste on. But you've got to unscrew it. Paste it. Bang it together. Bish, bash, bosh. Do the job properly. Did they? Did the bob. It's, and it's been, it's been blowing ever since. When I took it for the MOT at that same garage. Oh, your exhaust is blowing. Yeah, because you fucking didn't put it on properly in the first place. Twats. Anyway, slight off tangent there. This is a raggy beer review, of course. You know, ain't no one do beer reviews like I do. No one. And I'm not an arse either. Hey. But anyway, yeah. Orange or poor, white head. Would I drink it again? Hell yes. Out of five, good 4.4 out of five. Lovely dank beer. If you like that, oh, what's that bloody beer from Verdant that everyone goes mad for in, earlier in the year? Then they bought out the triple verse, Putty. If you like Putty, you'll love this. And that's my review. Thank you for watching. Yeah.